Welcome back guys, my name is Austin from AwfulMedia.com and this is part, I don't know, of the Making a Simple Game in Unity tutorial series. Now in this part we probably won't actually do anything with the game. I came in here and I'm, I'm feeling better now, I was sick for a while, I have plenty of time now to get, to get this series done. I sat down and I have no idea what to do with the game. I have no idea where to go with it. I sat here and I was like, well, we could, no, there's no reason to do that, couldn't do that. There's plenty of stuff to do with it if you're making the game for a consumer. If you're making the game uh, for somebody to play it, right? But I'm looking at it from my point of view where I have to make the game to teach a, a particular topic or a specific thing. And I want to teach stuff that is general to uh, to game development in unity right not just something that is specific to the game we're working on and that's where this that's where the problem is there's plenty of stuff that i could polish plenty of stuff i could do in the game but none of that would apply to any other game except this game that we're working on now and i don't want to do that because then it would it would be pointless for anybody else that wants to do anything else with or any other kind of game uh, so I want to make this quick video to ask you guys, what do you mean? What do you mean to do? Uh, I know there's a few issues with the game. That I'm sure there is. I don't know, don't know what they are, but I've spoken to a few people, and some people are having some issues with certain things, and uh, not game-breaking things, just little bitty things that that could be tweaked, that could be fixed. And I want to know. I mean, those kind of things aren't really aren't really that big of an issue. And we've learned. I mean, what, we've, what have we done? Let's see. We've done a basic character movement thing. We've we've done basic level select. We've done a main menu. We've done an enemy with a, a patrol path. We've done uh, a goal system with uh, like a windscreen and a high score system, saving to the player's computer. We've done some modeling in Blender. Then we we did uh, uh, some animation in Unity. Then we did uh, what what have we done? We did lighting. Uh, sound effects. I mean, we've done a lot of stuff in this short series. The game, it sucks, right? The game's pretty bad, but I wanted to cover a lot of stuff, and I, I think we, we covered quite a, quite a few things uh, that are, are pretty important when you're coming into game development uh, for the first time, especially in Unity. This wouldn't apply to really any other engine. So, I want to ask you guys, what do you want to do now? Do you want me to continue with this game and I don't want to polish it up to, to release it, but do you want me to add other features to it? Are there, are there other features that you want to see done in this game? Or do you want me to move on to another game? I ask that because we had a, a poll for viewers to vote in whenever this uh, series first started. And the question was, what game do you want to make with our first series? Now, whatever this game is we made was not on the poll. I wanted to do this series as a quick introduction to actual game development because we did introduction to C-sharp and then I was like, well, I don't want to jump into a game under these categories right off, right off the bat because then you'd have expectations for these games and I would want to keep it as basic as possible and then we may sacrifice some, some quality or, or uh, so, some gameplay in those kind of games. But this kind of game, there was no expectations because I told you from the beginning, I don't know what it is. So the the winner of the poll was a side scrolling platformer. Now that does not mean 2D, that does not mean 3D. It could be either one. I don't really know which one I want to do yet. Maybe you guys can let me know in the comments below, but that's where we would go next. I think we would go with a platformer. And I want to knock the platformer out in just no time. I want to get it started and get it finished probably all within the same week. Uh, you know, do long videos, maybe, maybe not many videos at all. Just get it all done, uh, just you know, in a couple sittings, get that out there, and then move on to something else. I want to keep doing this, and then we'll get to a point where everybody who views my channel will have the information they need to do a lot of different things, and then I could just do basic stuff like how to do this in Unity and how to do that in Unity, not how to do a full game. I would want to still do that some, you know, obviously, but I want to, I want to have a lot more general knowledge or a lot more general uh, tutorials or topics in general that would cover, how many times I'm going to say general in that sentence? It wasn't a sentence, what am I saying? So I want to have all this stuff that covers all this stuff, um, and I can't do that 
if we stick to this one game. So let me know. Do we move on to the platformer? Do we move on to something else? Do we move on to... I can't because the platformer won the, the voting. I'm sorry. So if you want something else, you'll have to wait until the platformer is done. Now, let me know what you think about that in the comments below. And uh, we'll go with whatever you say. This video is not going to be anything to do with this game. I just put it up in that series because it it uh, does follow that game. Now, I am working on a very, very simple mobile game for the Android market, maybe iOS, if I get my hands on a, a device. But I'm working on one, not because I want to uh, be a mobile game developer, but well, I do, but because I want to go through the process of building an Android game in Unity, exporting it, and then publishing it on the Play Store. That way I have that experience and then we can do stuff with that experience, right? Because at the moment, when I say something about Android, I'm just saying what I've read, what I've seen, and but not what I've done. Because I've not published an Android game before. So I want to, I'm working on a very simple one that may, may not uh, get anywhere. It may get 10 downloads, and that be that, maybe the worst game in the world. And I don't think it will be, uh, it's, but it's not going to be, it's not going to be a big game at all. It's a very, very small game. Actually, I'll show you. I don't really want to, but because it might, it might blow your mind. It, it's that good. It might blow your mind. No, I'm joking. It's uh, it is literally the uh, easiest game. Okay, so what this is a start to is I have about an hour and a half of development time in this, and most of that is on the interface, which is very simple. So what this is is it is a uh, a sequential at the moment it's sequential or sequential <laughs> it's uh, it's a sequence game where you have to memorize right you know, you know the game Simon I think it was called Simon just Simon right yeah so it was Simon where it would light up a color and you click that color then light up another color in the same sequence and it would keep adding uh, it would keep adding actions to the sequence and you have to memorize them and go as far as you can then you get to a certain point and you can't remember anymore then you lose and you get your score that's what I'm doing here, and there's there's plenty of Simon games on the Android market, and I'm sure there are. I've not looked, but I just know that's something that's there. But the thing is, is if I looked at the competition before doing this, I probably wouldn't do it. Right, so it's so simple. Actually, it's, it's not as simple as I wanted it to be when I started. I, I ran into a lot of stuff, I was like, wow, that's actually going to take a bit more work than I thought. So, it, it looks very simple, and it, it is relatively simple compared to other games but it's not as simple as it looks I think is what I'm trying to say so what I want to do though is I have this game and everything's working uh, functionally at the moment I have to add a few interfaces in add a couple different modes I want to add a random mode and a hard mode that has uh, nine circles instead of six circles so it, it's already more difficult than Simon right we have six different different uh, elements instead of the four and that's a bit different. Then we have the scoring system, which I want to hook into Google Play high scores or leaderboards and do stuff like that so you can compete with your friends that way. Maybe have different modes. I don't know how different modes. Maybe have different modes that tie into a competitive play a bit differently. So it's a really simple game concept that's been around for years that I want to take and turn into something different. And that's what I'm going to do. And I chose this game because I last year I wanted to get... A game out and I didn't I did I did not get a game out I, that's, what, that's all I wanted to do with my my game stuff last year was get a game out and you guys didn't even know that I was interested in game development at the time you know I've been in the programming for a while but you didn't know I was interested in game development when you when you were if you were following my videos last year uh, but I, I was I it was mostly web stuff that you saw, but I was into game development, but I wasn't big into it. I was just messing around with little things like Game Maker and uh, Flash. So this year, I knew I wouldn't get one out because this game will be done in a couple of days. And then I'm just going to get it up online. I'm going to make a video on it, uh, post it on the website, post a link to the Play Store so you can check it out. But with this experience, then I would be able to actually have experience to explain the process and and show you the process and talk about it and and give uh, tips and stuff on how I did it now like I said I may get 10 downloads and uh, two reviews that are all two stars but that's not the point of this right it'd be great if the game got you know a couple hundred downloads 
that'd be fine to me. But I'm not looking forward, <laughs> not looking for that to happen. But let me just show you the game. I won't hit R to restart this. It's pretty simple, right? So red, then I'd click red, and it would say, yeah, you completed one lap. I call them laps, so it's one lap. Then it went red to green. Notice the sound effects are all different. So I would do that. Then would add one to that sequence. Notice the sequence stays the same. We all know how Simon works, right? So this is uh, pretty much just Simon, but a bit prettier, I think so. And more colors and more possibilities. And I want to make it even more difficult with nine, right? So this game took so far an hour and a half of development. I want to spend about a day on it uh, to get it finished up. I want to get it out by the weekend. That's my goal. I, don't know, I wasn't paying attention. No, wasn't that one. So that breaks it now. I don't have a loose screen, so you can still play after it does that, and it just completely uh, screws it up. So that is the start of the game. Now, if you are interested, I am actually building this game in Unity, as you, I'm sure you know that. But I'm not using Unity 2D tools for this which is interesting. I'm using Daikon Forge, uh, which is an awesome, awesome GUI package, kind of similar to the in-GUI stuff, but it's better. <laughs> I will say it is better. So here it is. This is what we have, and uh, that's pretty much it. I have a single class that runs everything here called core I don't have different game modes set up in here yet so it's pretty much just it's a bit redundant at the moment as you can also see there it's, it's a work in progress though so uh, I'll get everything cleaned up optimized a bit more but look forward to that right it's not gonna be something you play very much maybe you'll want to get your high score in there and uh, get it on on the Google Play services thing and compete with your friends that'd be great for me because Every download would be awesome. So again, the point of this video, let me know what you want me to do. Do you want me to continue the simple game in Unity, or do you want to move on to the platformer? Let me know. That's all this video is, besides the self-promotion, which I just did. Uh, maybe you are more interested in the game and working on the background here than you are in anything else. And if that's so, maybe we'll talk about it. Probably not. I don't really want to. Eh, maybe we will. But we'll do the platformer first. So let me know in the comments below. Follow me on Twitter at Awful Media. Follow me on Google Plus, Awful Media as well. And uh, subscribe to YouTube if you want to learn some stuff. Now, my videos are pretty much never like this, where I just sit here and talk to you with nothing going on in the background and uh, no uh, educational topic at all. So this isn't the norm for me. If this is the first video you saw, the first video you saw of me, I'm sorry. Thanks for watching, guys. My name is Austin, and I'll see you next time.